7 Nightly News with Kylie Gillies. Good evening. Sydney's Star City has flung open its doors. The billion dollar casino has opened in a blaze of colour and spectacular song. I now declare it open. A $90,000 fireworks display, the signal to send in the punters. It's hot and sweaty, yeah, it's pretty humid, pretty crazy, but we're in. 40,000 people joined in celebrations for Sydney's Star City Casino, along with celebrity guests, superstar Tom Jones in the showroom. It's not a new you it happens every day. Singing sensation Michael Crawford in the Lyric Theatre. Let your soul take you where you long to be. And Diana Ross outside with a crowd of thousands for a free concert. <laughs> Sonia Wilk, 7 Nightly News. The Prime Minister of Papua New Guinea, Bill Skate, will be forced to answer corruption allegations following the release of a secretly recorded video. It shows Mr Skate ordering payoffs to be passed on to his police minister. Papua New Guinea's new Prime Minister, Bill Skate, is at the APEC trade conference in Vancouver. He came to power on the back of the Sandline mercenary scandal, but back home a deeper dilemma is unravelling for the leader. Secret videos obtained by the ABC show Mr Skate ordering payoffs to be passed on to the police minister so he can give the money to collaborators in the media. Do we give him ten? No, just give him two and then, okay. So you spread over two months. We'll tell him to see me tomorrow, brother. In another video, the police minister pockets the cash. Mujo Sefa, once the prime minister's right-hand man, has spilled the beans on the alleged corruption. Late tonight in a statement to ABC, Mr Skate hit back saying Sefer is a blackmailer. Good luck to him and his videotapes. He's a bloody crook. It's not an outright denial. The scandal could see Mr Skate forced to stand down as Prime Minister. Elise Mooney, 7 Nightly News. The second man charged with the murders of New South Wales schoolgirls Nicole Collins and Lauren Barry has appeared in a Melbourne court. Leslie Camilleri was formally charged and ordered to give a blood sample. The bodies of the girls were found in bushland near the New South Wales Victorian border two weeks ago. Police told the court they were repeatedly raped, bound and gagged, then stabbed to death. From Sydney to Adelaide, temperatures soared across much of Australia today. Sydney's west baked under a top of 43 degrees, while high pollution levels in the city added to the discomfort. A rare sea fog swept in, driven by cool ocean water and high air temperatures. In Melbourne, the mercury climbed to just over 40 degrees, the hottest November day in 86 years. And as Adelaide sweltered, a mini cyclone tore through the suburbs, destroying roofs and wrecking an outdoor musical. First pictures tonight of the smallest seven wonders of the world. Kenneth, Brandon, Nathaniel, Joel, Alexis, Kelsey and Natalie are the miracles the medical experts didn't think could survive. Bobby McCoy experienced an extraordinary pregnancy, her stomach growing to more than double the normal size. The proud parents have held the first of their septuplets. They're still waiting to hold the rest. The Iranian soccer players have ended their first day in Melbourne with a training session at Sunshine in the city's outer suburbs. The side will be based there ahead of their second World Cup qualifier clash against Australia at the MCG. The visitors have plenty of support with thousands packing Melbourne Airport for their arrival this morning. A quick look at Thursday's weather. A few showers in northern Queensland, a scorcher in New South Wales and the ACT with isolated storms expected later in the day. Cooler in Victoria and Tassie. 26 in Adelaide, mostly sunny in Perth and hot again in the top end. And that's all from the 7 Newsroom tonight. More on sunrise at 6am. Have a good night.